Hi all and welcome back to Danny B Trains. Today we're going back to March 2nd, 2024 on a day that I call my greatest day of rail fanning so far this year for a number of reasons, including the amount of trains that were caught, plus some foreign power on the line, but also this was a day where I got to go rail fanning with my dad. We started off our morning on a high note with breakfast at Waffle House before making the short drive over to the Nashville National Cemetery. I had been telling my dad before how much frequent train traffic that this route sees and when he was in town, we were excited to go rail fanning as the radio traffic indicated it wouldn't take long to see a train. SAM 28102. Within only about five minutes of our arrival, the first train of the day made its appearance as a southbound auto rack train passed by led by CSX 3307.
detector. Milepost 179er. Point zero. Track main one. No defects. Repeat. No defects. Total axles four two eight. Length nine eight zero zero. Detector out. Just as soon as this auto wreck train had cleared the area, the northbound signal indicated it would not be long before another train passed us, as an approach limited signal was flashing indicating that something else was coming soon. Before the train, we heard the passing sirens of the Nashville Fire Department headed north on Gallatin Pike on their way to a call, but soon, the sounds of sirens would be replaced by the approaching GE motor of CSX 5202 leading a northbound manifest with a friendly crew this morning giving us a honk of his horn along the way. you talk about getting it that guy was booking it through here that manifest that's one of the faster trains i think i've seen here in a minute but that was so cool seeing all the different kinds of uh, different uh, freight it was hauling on there you saw the things of wood uh the plywood sheets steel was on that thing all kinds of good stuff was on that some open box cars pretty cool to see those 
Uh, that's that's what I like. I love seeing those manifests come through here because they're always different what's on there. After that speedy manifest made its way north, the signal is showing an approach signal, meaning we'd have yet another northbound train coming, but my dad and I's eyes were caught when we realized there were lights coming from both directions, meaning we were about to see what would be our first of two trains meeting of the day, as this northbound intermodal train met a southbound manifest train. Surprise! The nice thing about intermodal trains is that they'll offer just enough of a gap for you to see a train as it passes, as CSX 874 leads the southbound manifest train on the other side of the tracks. <laughs> Meanwhile, from our secondary camera, we get a glimpse of the secondary power on this train, CSX 3330, as they head towards Nashville.
Minks can be interesting. You can see one train well, but not the other at ground level. Perhaps a drone would one day be a mighty fine investment into the channel for rail fanning, but alas, it is not today. As for the next train, we get yet another northbound manifest, but pay close attention. It was definitely more noticeable in person, but this train was smoking midway through. I'm not sure from what exactly, but whatever it was, it wasn't enough of an issue to activate the defect detector.
Again, not too sure what the smoke was coming off this train around some of the tankers, but it certainly was a shock to me and my dad, and it smelled awful. Alright guys, so that manifest just went through. It didn't even take like five minutes after those two trains met. It, you might have heard us talk about it on camera, and oh my gosh, there's actually another one behind it, because it, it just changed to, now there's another, north, there's another northbound going to be coming through. But I feel like I need to call someone, call that in, because one of those cars was smoking like crazy at one of its wheels and i couldn't tell at first i didn't know if it was coming from the car itself or the wheel but man that was some strong smoke we had to cover our noses when that thing went through um i might need to figure out if i can call that in now before i even had a chance to find the phone number for csx to call and report the smoke we had seen a northbound grain train's lights were approaching as he was set to pull up and stop just in front of our position in which we actually communicated to the crew what we had witnessed so that it can be relayed accordingly he was awaiting the arrival of the train that we were particularly looking forward to seeing today csx m503 a southbound manifest coming from Chicago, Illinois into Nashville's Radnor Yard, operated today by Canadian National Foreign Power, led by CN2846, with the particularly interesting CN3955 X City Rail locomotive running second.
And just like that, the floodgates were opened here. We had tr almost train after train after train. Had a few that was stopped here for a little bit. Uh, there was some smoking on one of those manifests that was going northbound. We alerted the crew that was on the grain train that just went by. Uh, did Wasn't sure if we needed to maybe call someone about that. I did find a number, but by the time I even had a chance to think about calling, they were coming up. So we alerted them. So hopefully they got that relayed up to the next train up ahead. Uh, looks like we're still expecting that are northbound. But the coolest thing for sure was catching that Canadian National with the X-City rail engine that would come through here as well. So lots of good times here at the cemetery with my dad today. Uh, not sure how long it is for next train, but we may be getting ready to head out of here because we do have a train to catch of our own later too. <laughs> Now these final two trains snuck up on us and we almost missed them entirely. A northbound auto track came through when we least expected it and while we couldn't see the power, over on the other track we had yet another meet as a southbound grain train makes its way down over on the other side of us, which will at least see the end of the rolling stock after the auto wreck train finishes passing us.
As the southbound grain train moves on, this was the final train that my dad and I caught in what I would consider to be one of my favorite rail finning adventures this year, as it was soon time for us to head on over to the Tennessee Central Railway Museum as we had tickets for today's excursion train led by R.G. Corman Company 5941, former Nashville and Eastern B40-8 standard cab. After admiring the train that we were about to ride on for today's Mardi Gras themed excursion, I took a lot of time to admire the great detail work and trains of the Tennessee Central Railway Museum's HO scale and N scale model railroad clubs who were set up and on display inside for today's passengers to admire their tiny trains. Look, the club even has their very own N-scale RJ Corman Dash 8s on the layout with the n, n e Heritage Patch. I love it! As we boarded these former Amtrak coaches for the train, we were given a bag of snacks for our journey too. On board the train, they do offer food and refreshments from the dining car. However, it was nice to start the journey with complimentary snacks of our ticket. The journey was very scenic, and as we passed under the Cumberland River Bridge of CSX's Radnor Cutoff, a northbound manifest could be seen crossing our path. Today's journey takes us from Nashville to just the outer edge of Lebanon, Tennessee, where we would then use the power on the other side and bring us back to Nashville for about a three-hour round trip. The Tennessee Central Railway Museum offers many excursion trips each year, with trips ranging from being shorter than this one to being much longer trips, with their fall foliage trip being one of their most popular and fastest to book up each year. As for us, that's all the time we have for this rail fitting adventure of Danny B. Our train's theme was Mardi Gras, so it was very appropriate to have a Mardi Gras band on board playing as the Saints go marching home along the way. Be sure to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and we'll see you next time right here on Danny B Trains for the next video. Until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye guys.